Tony Dahlman, I hate my wife's cat. I hate my wife's cat, Tony Dahlman. <laughs> There's an old Chinese proverb, he who rides the tiger often finds it difficult to dismount. Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and guests, we all have tigers in our lives, whether it be our hobbies, vices, or addictions. Well, the tiger in the Dolman household is a literal orange and white feline named Oliver. Well, my wife has been enamored with the cat ever since she adopted him about five years ago. My relationship with Oliver has been a little bit closer to the mathematical law of transitivity. I love my wife, my wife loves the cat, therefore, ipso, facts, ipso facto, QED, and the other things my math professor said in college in order to sound smart, I love my wife's cat. But today I want to get something off of my chest. To paraphrase the great philosopher's twisted sister, I ain't going to take it anymore. I hate my wife's cat. To show you how much I hate my wife's cat, I'm going to go through three different lessons today. And the first lesson we're going to look at is that a cat in the way is annoying all day. <laughs> my, the cat has a very unique characteristic of being able to lie around the house in the most inconvenient place possible. My wife Carla and I live in the prototypical long, skinny DC row house, so we spend a lot of the time using the stairwell in our house to get from upstairs to downstairs. But somehow, Oliver manages to station himself at the exact point at the top of the stairs that makes it impossible to go either over him or around him. So I am standing there looking like a goon, waiting for the cat to leisurely make his way down the stairs. Even a simple task such as making dinner or washing the dishes is made more difficult because Oliver has stationed himself exactly 4.5 picometers behind my left leg. <laughs> if I accidentally back up and steps on the cat's tail, if I don't break my ankle from tripping over him, the loud, high-pitched shriek that he makes will dislocate any of the remaining bones in my body. <laughs> But one of the advantages of having a cat in the way is that the cat will usually be sitting at the door waiting for me when I come home from work. Now we all have stressful lives here in Washington, D.C., and sometimes it is nice to be able to come home from the 9 to 5 strife to have somebody who is happy to see you. But we're getting off point here. I hate my wife's cat. We need to move on to lesson number two, and that is a cat who resonates is a cat who irritates. When my wife adopted Oliver from the Columbus, Ohio pet shelter, she forgot to tell me about the line below the line that said, orange and white domestic short hair cat, below it which said, this is the loudest cat in the world. <laughs> meow, meow, meow. <laughs> Every part of my day is just filled with this meow, meow, meow. Saturday morning, in the Dolman household, otherwise known as Tony's sleeping time, is now interrupted with meow, meow, meow. Waking up in the morning and trying to get dressed now has the demotic sense of meow, meow, meow. Walking within 4.5 feet of his food bowl gets a meow, meow, meow. Now, you would think that feeding Oliver would get the meowing to stop. No, no, no. This only makes the meowing louder and with greater intensity. Meow! 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 <laughs> Picking up his food bowl, you would think that he is never going to get food ever again because you have taken away his food bowl from him. I hate my wife's cat. But along with this meowing comes a few other cute things as well. Sometimes there's a lot of cute meowing when he's chasing a laser pointer throughout the room. Sometimes there's some meowing when he's wrapped his legs around the staircase rail and that he's kicking at it with his back legs. Sometimes you also get some meowing when he lies on his back and he wants you to rub his belly. But we're getting away from the point again, I hate my wife's cat. And that is why we need to move on to lesson number three. That is, a cat on the bed equals a cat on the head. 
<laughs> a few years ago, I heard a story from one of my coworkers that they had just adopted two new kittens. And one of the common occurrences in his household was for him to wake up with one of the cats lying on top of his head. So when my then girlfriend of seven months told me that she wanted to adopt Oliver, my cat senses immediately were raised. I knew, even though I went to propose for about another year and a half, I knew there was a decent chance that I would one day be living with this woman-cat combination. <laughs> so Carla agreed to the rule that Oliver would never be allowed on top of the bed. Fast forward to 2013, Oliver has full reign of the house. <laughs> he is allowed to go on all of the furniture, and everything I own is now covered in cat hair. He jumps on top of the couch. He jumps on top of the kitchen table. Oliver is able to go everywhere. Oliver is even able to jump up on, on the bed so that he can meow directly into my face. <laughs> I hate my wife's cat. But this past year also brought some big changes to the Dolman household. My wife received the opportunity of the lifetime to take a 12-month commitment as an agricultural advisor in the Kundu province of Afghanistan, meaning that it would be me and Oliver alone for an entire year. So because Oliver has full reign of the house and he is able to jump on anything, he was also able to jump on my lap on some cold winter's nights. And even though I was able to talk to my wife once in a while, it was nice to be able to have some companionship with Oliver in the house. But again, we are getting away from the point I hate my wife's cat, and we can see how much I hate my wife's cat from the three lessons that we have seen. Whether it is a cat in the way, a cat who meows, or, or, a, cat, or, or a cat on the bed, we can clearly see that I hate my wife's cat. Now I know what some of you are thinking. He doesn't really hate his wife's cat. He actually likes his wife's cat. He is just putting on some tough guy image and that he would never, ever admit to liking the wife's cat in front of the wife because that would ruin it for him. Well, I only have one thing to say to that. He who rides the tiger often finds it difficult to dismount. Madam Toastmaster. All right.